Black Friday has passed, and there are still big names such as Jake Arrieta, Wade Davis, and J.D. Martinez still on the shelf. I'm joined by our MLB expert, Matt Hosoffel, to talk about MLB free agency. We're going to start off with number one, Jake Arrieta, and what do you think about this? Jake Arrieta is going to get paid this offseason, and great for mm -hmm. him. I think he's going to the Rangers six year, about $200 million. And the Rangers wow. are a team, they played about 40 minutes. They play about 40 minutes from where he grew up and played high school baseball. So I think that's a big draw for him. Also, they traded away their ACU Darvish this season. So they're looking for someone who can dominate that rotation and lead them off in the ones. But I think Jake Arrieta is really their guy this year. Are you sad that he's leaving the Cubs? I think Cubs fans should be sad that he's leaving. He's been so dominant, and that's why he's going to be so successful for the Rangers, who really need a, someone to bolster their pitching rotation in the starting lineup. So the Cubs, I think they could look elsewhere. They're going to find someone, but not Jake Arrieta's so talent he's level. So moving to Texas, and you just mentioned you, Darvis. Uh, where do you think he's going? I think he's going to the Cubs, as you just asked. He's going to fill that spot Jake Arrieta leaves. They're just going to switch He's going to lose a bit of money, though, because that Ooh. unsuccessfulness in the World Series, it definitely undoubtedly cost him some money, maybe a couple mil. I see him going about four year, 100 million. And people will say, oh, he's 31. Can he get four years of the Cubs to sign John wow. Lester when he was 31? I don't True. think they're going to have, have a problem. Them, exactly. So. John Lester's been great. So I don't think, I don't think they're going to have a problem signing Darvish at 31, giving him four years. I think he'll be great in that rotation for the Cubs, who are going to need that, especially after losing Arietta. That's a good That's a good point. And we're going to go to Wade Davis. Where do you think uh, he's going? Wade Davis is you know, not arguably been one of the best closers in baseball throughout the last year or two. And I don't think, I don't see any reason why Chicago should let him go because he's been so successful. 32 out of 33 on save attempts, a sub 2-5 ERA. And they talked about maybe moving around their bullpen, having him a setup role or even just a relief role and not closer. I really think that's a mistake. I think he's going to get about four years, 55, 60 mil. He should stay in that closer role for the foreseeable future. You keep talking about the Cubs, and obviously the Cubs won the World Series last year, had a good run this year. Are you thinking that this rebuilding of the Cubs, or not rebuilding, but I guess like put, amping up their um, team, is this going to help them? I don't think they lack the offensive firepower, and adding Darvish and bringing back Davis big time is definitely going to help. So I don't think there's any reason they shouldn't be in a deep playoff run next year. Okay, moving on, we have one player left. Um, Shotani. Yeah, Otani, the Japanese Babe Ruth. He's gotten so much hype. The Japanese Babe exactly, Ruth? Exactly, yeah. Wow. It's crazy because he's 23, right? If he had come mm -hmm. here two years later, he could get so much, vastly more money than he's going to get. He's going to get about three years, about $2 million total from, I think, the Yankees. You know, obviously a big market for foreign players that come over. You saw Tanaka, Hideki Matsui. He has a huge uh, The problem backing. is he's 23, and under 25 players have to be treated as minor leaguers for the collective bargaining, uh, bargaining sake. So he can't make more than about $600,000 a year for the f two or three years. So he's going to get a big signing bonus, as expected, and the Yankees are going to pay about $20 million just to talk to him from the team that currently owns him in Japan now. But three years from now, when he's done with this contract, done making that about $535,000 a year, he's going to get paid big time, assuming he lives up to expectations, which I think he will, whether it's pitching or hitting. He's going to be good. Do you think that the Yankees are, obviously their team is very young right now. Do you think they're still recruiting these young players? And if so, why do you think that? I think it's appealing to young players like Otani because they've been so successful. You saw Judge and Sanchez mm -hmm. and even, to a lesser extent, Torres and Bird be so successful in their system, right. and that's obviously offensive side of the ball, but they've been so excess successful this past year, so they're saying, oh, even it's though working. they're bringing in a new GM, I think they're going to be good at developing young talents like myself, I'm Otani. <laughs> yeah. I think he's going to come in and be successful with the Yankees. Very interesting. Thank you so much for your time, and great talking some MLB free agency when it's not the season right now. So that's all the time we have. Uh, Thomas will be hitting the hard court with our NCAA basketball experts to break down PK80 tournament. Can't wait to find out what that's about.